Hey hi guys welcome to my youtube channel the topic for today is how to install kali net hunter in our android mobile we need the following prerequisites a mobile device tomox application and kali net hunter installer first of all i'll go to the github repository and download the latest tomox release the version is 0.118 i'll provide the link in the description so that you all can download once the application is downloaded we'll install it now that my application is installed we'll proceed by typing the first command pkg update hyphen y this will help all the latest packages and dependencies to be installed it will take a while though Note that whenever you get a prompt just click on Y and continue during this process Okay now that it's done we'll proceed with the second command to set up the tomox storage I'll type the command tomox hyphen setup hyphen storage. This will allow all the files, tomox related files, to get stored in my Android mobile. We'll get a prompt. We'll just click on allow. Once that is done, we will click on pkg install wget. This will allow us to download files from the internet directly to our Active Directory. So now we are going to download the NetHunter installer. So we'll follow the command wget-o install net-nethunter-termux and the repository link. Okay, now we will give the permission for the installer. So I'll type chmod plus x install hyphen nethunter hyphen termux. Once it's done, I will run my nethunter installer. Now as you can see it's installed, we'll be selecting the first option, uh, we are going to download the full version. It will take a while for me, it took around 25 to 30 minutes for the whole uh, process to get complete. So you'll have to be patient. Now here it will ask us to delete downloaded root fs file, we'll be clicking on n to proceed. Okay, now we'll type the command nh-r to run as root. As you can see, we have an error. To resolve it, we will be making changes in the resolve.config file. We will edit the file. So here the name server is set to 9.9.9.9. .9 .9 .9. We'll be changing it to 8.8.8.8 .8 .8, which is the Google DNS server and then we'll save it. Click on escape colon wq to make sure that 
our changes are made i will check again yes it's changed now we will again update the repository also we are going to install the dbus hyphen x11 application to ensure that our sessions do not get killed we'll go to termux battery settings and select no restrictions so that the battery can run in the background now we will type the command nh space kex to start our vnc server it will ask us to input the password enter the password of your choice and verify it again for view only password click on n and now as you can see we have a 5901 port running we'll have to make a note of it parallelly i'll be installing the net hunter from the official website once it's installed i will select the net hunter kex that will be a vm which we'll be using here okay now it's installing fine here we'll change a port to 5901 we can give the vnc username to kali and the password the same we used in step number 10 and we'll click on save yeah so it's created now i'll click on it so as you can see here finally we have a kali linux installed on our android mobile if you like this video remember to hit like subscribe to my channel